All right, guys, fresh off the plane, first stop. We didn't even go to the hotel room to freshen up. We are here at Impossible Kicks. The reason why we came here is because when we were in Tampa last year, we met the owners, they invited us to their Tampa store, and I remember them having a Denver location. And since we're here in Denver, for my homie Mike the Compass's wedding, which we're going to tonight, I was like, you know what? Let's stop into Impossible Kicks Denver and see what they have. We're at the Cherry Creek Mall, right? Mm -hmm. Cherry Creek Mall? Yeah, we're at the Cherry Creek Mall. We're gonna pop in here. I need some shoes, all right? And I know you're looking for I a need pair. some shoes. I know you're looking for a pair of shoes. They have them, we already know they have them, all right? We already did our research. First time in Denver. Let's see what the sneaker game here in Denver has to offer. And also, before we pop in there, you see the t-shirt? First the time. Vibes. This is the first Dream Crew merch in like three or two years. I wanted to do like a vintage style t-shirt. So these are coming soon. I'm gonna be dropping these. Hold on, I gotta check my calendar. I don't remember it off the top of my head. June 29th, so I'll be dropping these on Whatnot first. Quickly wanted to promote this, but let's go ahead and get into Impossible Kicks and see what they got to offer. over here I actually got this pair but what I said in my video is that it reminds me of a bunch of other black 350s that they did the v2s at least and they have a few of them here so I can show you guys some examples so as you guys can see they just kind of I actually like the top one I wasn't a big fan of this one just because this materials like a weirdish yeah, I don't like that material. clear pantyhose type material this one is actually really pantyhose. sick I don't know. Do you know what pantyhose you know, feels like? Yeah, I used to buy them and I used to wear them on my arms like Jeff Hardy and Matt Hardy did. Oh if, you're, if you're a wrestling fan, you know what God. I'm talking about. I'm going to stop recording no, that, right now. No, that's not embarrassing at all. If you're a wrestling WWF fan, you know exactly what I'm oh talking about. Oh my God. I know you guys love dunks. You guys know. I'm going to stop saying it. Somebody said I gotta retire it. I think you he's should. correct. I think the I'm not a dunk guy. I'm a dunk guy. <laughs> Address the elephant in the room. Yes. Mina wants these. The funny story is I already bought her uh. these off of GOAT because they were only going for like a hundred, I think I paid like a hundred, or no, I paid like $200 with fees and everything. We ordered them and they got lost in shipment. Thankfully, GOAT lost. did re Yeah, they got lost in shipment, but thankfully, GOAT did refund us. And what are the chances that of all these shoes, there's only one pair and it happens to be your My size. size. It was meant to be. Hello, Shoot, Denver, <laughs> Denver's calling. All right, quick interruption while you're watching this video. You see these right here. This is one of the shoes that I bought from Impossible Kicks. You're gonna see that later in the video, but I just wanna let you know, I'm giving these away for free on Whatnot June. 29th so you need to tune in okay basically there's two huge shows going on on june 29th obviously mine which starts at 4 p.m we're going to be giving these away for free all you got to do is sign up use my link down below and you get ten dollars off your first purchase but yeah you don't need to pay to get these for free if you win they're 100 percent free you don't even have to pay for shipping I don't think you do. But yeah, that's not the only thing going on on June 29th on Whatnot. The sneaker legend Mayer is going to be going live on Whatnot with Fat Joe and they're going to be doing the ultimate Air Force One auction. They're going to be doing 10 mystery boxes. And within these 10 mystery boxes, somebody's going to be getting the, the LV Nike Air Force Ones by Virgil. There's also going to be a bunch of Mayer's exclusive Air Force Ones in those that are one of ones and a few of Fat Joe's Terror Squad Air Force Ones. So no matter what mystery box you get, you're getting an exclusive sneaker in one of those. And here's the cool thing. 100% of the proceeds made from this live show will be donated to Virgil's Postmodern Scholarship Fund. So it's going to be going down at 6 p.m. on June 29th. 6 p.m., 9 p.m. Eastern, which is going to be literally right after my live. So when I'm done with my show, because I'm going live from about 4 p.m. to about 5.30, 6 p.m., then the Mayor and Fat Joe Air Force One Ultimate Experience show is going live and you don't want to miss out. It's just going to be epic and you need to be there you need to download whatnot i'm gonna leave the links down below for my whatnot channel as well as mayor's whatnot channel so you could follow both of us and be prepared for just this epic day of whatnots and uh back to the video take this all right here ready three two one 
So yeah, we're gonna pick these up for Mina, 100%. I, I personally think this is, Fire. orange is my favorite color. So if my girl is wearing orange, okay. you know it's a plus. All right, so we're gonna grab these for you. I'm just gonna hold them. I wouldn't actually mind a pair of these, these. too. I already but, knew you were coming to these. But there's none in my size. Yeah, these are pretty sick. I like the vintage vibe. I love that they do this on the midsole, but I just don't like this shiny green, yeah. but it's, it's kind of cool. It's different. These, I've never seen these before. Um, I heard these are hella limited but they have them here at impossible kicks <laughs> these are the uh what are they called again i think it's called the koala bear dunks mm -hmm. i'm not sure this is actually cool i prefer the aged look over this like i don't really think it goes you know what's funny though over the last like maybe like four or five years ago when people would paint the midsoles people were roasting it saying oh just wear your shoes and let them age don't age your shoes now nike jordan all these companies are selling the shoes to make them look aged and it, they think it's cool. To the customizers out there, y'all are setting the trends and the brands are copying it, all right? Don't worry about what people say. Essentials, tons of Wow. Oh. Wow. You break it, you buy it. Did I hit on sneakers or you did? I did, and I then I gifted it to my cousin. And you gifted it to your cousin. These were bricks when they first came out and now they're like a three, $400 shoe. Do you regret I, it? No, I don't. You I don't mean, regret. it was a graduation gift no, not, from not, nursing school. Not regret school. who you gave it to, but just regret getting rid of it. Oh, I mean, I don't Kinda. think I would wear it. It's just, I have so many shoes, like would I want to keep those or would I want to rock with these? Do you yeah. know what I'm saying? Wow. Slight flex. You had to flex on them like that, right? <laughs> these are actually sick. I've actually been wanting to add these in the collection. I don't this like This is slowly those. becoming one of my favorite unions. All right, let's move over to the men's pairs, all right? Mina found the pair. It's time for me to pick up a pair. This is one of the best summer shoes, aside yeah. from the ones that I talked about in the last video, the coral ones. I think that's the best Jordan 1 low of the summer. This but this is more wearable, like Yeah, this is like, definitely the best. Because the colorway. Why don't you get a pair of these? All right, you're fired no? as a camera woman. I have my personal pair and I, I just sat on them. I, I think I wore them once for a photo and then I never busted them back out. Uh, I'm waiting at least a year before I pull them out again. Most of the time I wear new stuff, but I feel like for that one, I wanted to wait a little bit before I bust them out. This is probably one of my, wow. Wow. This is one of my favorite dunks right here, the New Jersey Nets You still one. have yours? I have my pair, yeah. Why? Because it's like, I actually really love them. Even though I don't like dunks like that, I think this is one of the best dunks out that have they've done. Have you ever done. worn them? Yeah, I have, I've worn them twice. Wow. I got them from Private Selection, shout out to Private Selection. But all right, Jordan 1 wall. Shadows, obviously they did the, the new release right here with the uh, Rebellion Air. Yeah. <laughs> the Rebellion Airs, which is the same color blocking. These ones didn't hit as hard just because of the all over print, but I know me and you personally love these. But yeah, this is an OG. OG. Not the OG OG, but the 2015, I believe, retro, right? 2017. 2017. The Shadow 2.0s too. I used to have these. Got rid of them because it's very cheap leather and the crease was disgusting. Obsidians. This is a nice one. This is one that I've literally never owned and I've always talked about it, but I never was able to pull the trigger. And it's just that too many TikTokers have this shoe. Yeah. I can't do it. Okay. I told you that. Yeah, you did tell me that. Mochas, this is a good one. Mochas right here. We should have bought these when they were low, low. Yeah. I gave my pair away. I know I always talk about it. I gave my pair away. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you want the Mocha Lows. They also got the Mocha Lows. Go over there, the last section they have, which is Yeezys and uh, a few good pairs of Yeezys. So let's go over there. So I'm gonna say right off the bat, the thing I love about this section is the giant Kanye poster. I think that's super dope. I've never seen any sneaker store kind of have its own like- Tribute to him. Yeah, like tribute that. to him aside from the shoes being on the wall. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, they got, you know, Yeezy sides, OGs, restock pures, pretty much all the colorways, foam runners, which are my favorite. I, Wish they had the new ones. Oh, they do have the new ones. Ew. The these, the all black. Somebody was wearing these the other day and we were driving and Mina's like, did they make orange Yeezy slides? I'm like, yeah, I used to have them. I thought they were fake. And she thought they were, she thought somebody was wearing fake, all right? Well, because they made so many like replicas. It's not my fault. You know what's crazy is this is size nine and it Should probably it fits on? you because this, mine was a size 12 and it still didn't fit me and that's why I got rid of it. All right, now let's go look at this front display because this is where you guys keep the heat, right? Yeah, that's correct. All right, cool. This one right here, bro, I've been dying. Can I open this or no? Yeah, go. Yeah. Yeah. All right, cool. There we go. This uh, came All -Star out weekend? All Star Weekend okay. 2020, right before the pandemic. These came out. We could not get these. We got the other ones though. The, yeah. the black breads, the black breads of the yeah yeah, the, yeah. Um, these ones right here, the 85. But 
I couldn't get my hands on the pack and it's actually crazy because this is yeah two thousand dollars for oh the my pack gosh. if this was my size I probably would have pulled the trigger because I've never been able to find it in my size with both pairs because I want the airship like the airship I want it more than I want this one so even if I got the pack I'd probably get rid of this and I would just keep this right here it's actually really dope that they did this you know as what's a pack. funny is I actually like that one better you like this one more yeah. I don't know. I'm not just a big. I'm not a big fan of this color blocking. They got the new Travises. I just picked these up too. These aren't going for crazy prices. I low key wish they had the trainers here because I want the brown trainers. I'm also going to Got Soul this coming weekend, so maybe I'll be able to find find them out there in Miami. I like to pick these up because these do really good on whatnot. People love when I drop these on whatnot. The Union Twos. I don't think this is my size, but if it was, I would pick these up. Oh, half size too big. 10.5. You like these ones? No, I like the blue better. Yeah, we both have the blue. I hit on sneakers on the blue pair for you. All right, so basically we showed you guys the whole store. There's a few things I want to pick out and take home. Let's uh, do some shopping and then we'll see what we're going to buy. Right now we're having a debate about Yeezy foam runners, all right? We already know Mina's against it. We're going to go one by one. What do you think? Foam runners, yes or no? Yes, 110%. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah? Yes. Yeah? I was a thousand percent no, and then I got a pair and a thousand percent yes. Damn. Four, five versus one. Dude, five. it's so ugly. No. In terms of comfort, though, the slides are always going to win. Yeah. Slides are always like better? They say, what, beauty is pain, right? I'm like, <laughs> there you go. This is from the newest collection. So instead of it being like 3M or screen printed, it's like this velvet material. It pops really loud on there. So it's super dope. I'm getting the sweatpants. Mina's getting the hoodie and then sneak. Wow, shout out to these guys, man. They already know the YouTube vibes, putting the shoes all out for us. But yeah, we're gonna get the um, Paisley Orange Dunks for Mina. Super fire, I love these. We're gonna pick up some Travis Air Maxes. This could be for a future whatnot giveaway, um, or we might just drop these on there, but this is a size nine, not my size. I already have my personal pair. And then we are gonna get the Onyx Foam Runners, another foam runner to piss Mina off. That's a W right there. All right, guys, wrapping it up here at Impossible Kicks. If you guys want to follow all their social media down below, I'm going to link it for you guys. Follow them on social media, and they have way too many stores for me to list. They have Denver, Tampa. L they have one in LA at the Beverly Center. Do you know the other stores? Yes, we have uh, Tampa, we have Orlando, we have West Palm, we have Connecticut, we have New Jersey. Uh, Woodbury, New York is coming July 2nd, location number 13. Uh, at the end of the year, we'll be at $55 million in sales. Next year, we'll be opening up 10 new locations, and we just launched our online platform, ImpossibleKicks.com. Damn. Flexed on us real quick. What do you say? 55 million 55 in million, sale? Yes, sir. Don't even worry. Uh, but yeah, shout out to them, guys. Follow their social media. If you're ever at one of the locations he listed, make sure you guys stop in. Great inventory, great customer service. The staff is amazing at both locations that I've been to so far. So yeah, check them out. We're going to go back to our hotel now so I can finally freshen up and shower because I'm straight off the flight. And then we got to go to this wedding tonight. So uh, yeah, we're out of here.